The September 2001 terrorist attacks led to a wave of hostility in America against Muslims and a sharp drop in the number of students from Arab countries. Four years later, the leaders of Saudi Arabia and the United States agreed on the scholarship program to help remedy both issues. Well, it was established for several reasons, uh, primarily um, due to the tragic events of 9-11 and the stereotypes that were forming about Saudi Arabia and Islam in general. Uh, In 2005, King Abdullah met with President uh, Bush then, and they decided to start this scholarship program, but it was not exclusive to the U.S. It it covers students in over 30 countries. The program supports 110,000 students around the world. The largest number are in America, where they pursue their education and also act as cultural ambassadors. So we have over 30,000 now. Uh, when the program started, there were barely um, 2,000 students here. Uh, so that is a sharp, sharp increase. But again, they're, they're studying, they're learning, yes, but they're also teaching um, through cultural outreach and, and um, personal initiatives about Saudi Arabia, about Islam, about our culture. The generous program pays all tuition fees, which can reach $40,000 a year at American universities, but also pays health insurance, living expenses, and a yearly trip home. Many students say without it, they would not be here. Actually, uh, I'm a scholarship student, as I said, so the Saudi government are paying for my tuition, uh, and they're paying a salary also. So this is how like, I'm paying for the college here. So, so that's a big help? Yeah, it's a big help. Like, it's, it's mostly the reason I'm here. The scholarship as well, um, thanks uh, to King Abdullah. Uh, they gave me this opportunity to study and uh, further my education. Students typically say they like the academic approach at American universities. I studied in Saudi Arabia for one semester before I came here. So everything is different, the classes, the way they teach. In what way different? Uh, here they try to explain more to like to do, uh, pro- uh, they practice the material you, you, they teach. So you have uh, a lot of researches to do, a lot of presentations. But back home I think that it's more like just to memorize the materials. Students often say that the big ethnic diversity on American campuses and the fact that male and female students study together helps prepare them for their future work life. I think in the future, in Saudi Arabia, we're going to be working with the opposite gender. We should be prepared for that. We should know how to deal with them. Same as the other cultures also. We should be prepared to deal with them. Saudi students say the Americans they encounter are rarely hostile and often curious to learn about Saudi culture and religion. Yeah, they're very curious and surprised in a good way, don't get me wrong. Um, They ask, uh, what's your religion? And it gets you to a conversation talking about your religion and what is Islam and can you talk to us about it? The Saudi cultural mission in America meets students when they arrive at the airport and works hard to help them be successful during their time here. They, they help us a lot, and it's good like to have uh, here in uh, D.C. the cultural mission, so you feel like you have uh, another family here. So if you have any problem, you can go to them, talk to them. Most students do a year of intensive English language studies when they first arrive. Business studies are then the most popular major, and 20% of students are women. Officials say they will insist on using their education when they return home. Uh, definitely they'll be seeking leadership positions as well. Uh, I don't think they'll be willing to, to take uh, second seats and, and sit back and, and, and not work at all. I think they'll be more involved in society, uh, if not the government sector, then perhaps also the private sector. Since it was established five years ago, the King Abdullah Scholarship Program has had a big impact, raising the number of Saudis studying in America from just a few thousand to over 30,000 today. Returning graduates are expected to raise professional levels at workplaces across the kingdom. And observers say they will bring back new ideas learned in the countries where they have studied. For Youth Club, this is Burton Bolag in Washington.